My name is Gus Rancatori, and I love ice cream. My name's Joe Rancatori, and I love ice cream. And my brother Gus. Let's go sample some flavors. Here, Gus, you want to be the customer? Sure. <laughs> Change of pace. I'll try the Bombay. So Bombay is saffron and cardamom mm -hmm. with ground up pistachios, almonds, and cashew halves. Uh, Gus, you would like this. Weird flavors, very weird flavors we make. Um, we've made chocolate sluggo. Dirty malted hydrox. Chocolate number three. Orange pistachio. Almond amaretto. Blossom. Grape nut raisin. Mary and berry. Rum and raisin. <laughs> In 1981, I started Toscanini's ice cream. And I started Rancatori's Ice Cream in 1985. It was always just generosity. Yes, you're trying to spread the word, but you're just delivering ice cream to hardworking people that turn into sixth graders when you bring ice cream. They just go nuts for you. Orange Blossom Pistachio. I love it. Yeah, I think we both recognize that selling ice cream, which is a relatively benign product, could make us, could, people would respond with friendliness to us. What do we, basil chocolate chip, I think is plenty weird. Orange kulfi. Bassani Sanati. Sausage ice cream from Naples, Italy. Uh, avocado Galliano. Tobacco ice cream. Pineapple jalapeno. The ice cream with insects. Arg. I don't know. This is Milo, or Melo, or Milo. Um, however I pronounce it, there is somebody in the building who will correct me. Earlier, I think I was talking a little about using miso, um, which is a kind of salty condiment used in Asian food. Um, you know, there's sometimes we make flavors because ice cream makers love making them. These are grape nuts, and grape nuts are very popular with two distinct, widely separated groups. Um, people from the Caribbean or West Indians and people from northern New England or eastern Canada. And um, I, I remember I had a conversation. I said, why do you like this flavor so much? And he goes, it's very popular ice cream at home. And this is almost the only place to get it in Boston. <laughs> what flavor are you eating? Goofy. Oh. I love this flavor. Yeah. <laughs> my, my parents are from Mexico and my mom came and she tried it. She left and then the next like three or four times I talked to her, she's like, she was telling me, I'm just dreaming of the next time I go to Boston so I can have cool feet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. You don't find that flavor anywhere else. No, it's, yeah. it's yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> All right. 50 units today, a couple boxes, a couple, uh, Half gallons, you know. You got a flavor you like? Yeah, I like a couple of flavors. Honeycomb. You know, I like um, cookie dough. Almost everything they make is good because everything's from scratch and it's, it's made daily. You know what I mean? Nothing's really frozen or anything. Everything's made like within two, three days. So. I think most people even when they're doing simple foods like submarine sandwiches and pizza and ice cream cones, um, have an unspoken dialogue between themselves and the customers that um, involves something close to love, where you're trying to evince an emotional response. Part of the research Joe and I have already talked about almost chronically doing is I've gone into a Baskin Robbins in, um, in Paris. And when I came out, there was this like 12 year old kid who goes, who was from Cambridge, and he goes, Mr. Toscanini, what are you doing here? And I said, eating ice cream. We're here at, uh, at the Joe's Manufacturing Company facility for producing ice cream. 
Uh, behind me are two ice cream machines. These are Emery Thompson machines that will make uh, four buckets at a time. And uh, Tyler, what flavor are you making? Uh, vegan coconut. And uh, Tim is making cookies and cream, our big, big seller. And uh, this is going to all be for today's Wednesday for the upcoming weekend. It'll produce enough ice cream to get us through the whole weekend. We'll do this every day for you know the rest of the summer. I still like to eat ice cream. Um, I do, and um, I don't know whether that's my all-time favorite food, but it you know, means many things. It's what I do, it's kind of a form of independence. Um, it's kind of an expression of some, many aspects of my personality. Paraphrasing like what took ice cream from like to love is uh, I think interesting and have me thinking about like just my wife Nancy or or in terms of restaurants that I have liked but love. And a lot of it is that emotional feeling, emotional connection I get from the experience I had in the restaurant from, with my wife that is more than, than just like. And so it opens me up to, to, to love, to be loving and to receive and get and give.